Hi! In this video I'm going to show you how to put together my three-dimensional peony flower that you'll find at the Silhouette online store and at lauriewhitlock.com in SVG format. Those are cutting files that you can use on your cutting machines in order to cut all the pieces out. And then with this video you should be able to assemble these beautiful projects. Um, I have already started assembling this. You'll find in the file that there are nine of these larger petals and a base. And I have just gone around gluing the three that are on a triangle from each other and then going back and gluing the other three in place. And then I've repeated that for a second layer, repeating that first leaf position. And now I'm about to put the last one in place and that'll get us started uh, with our flowers. So let me show you how I prepared these. Um, there's a set of tools people use for embossing that have balls on the end and that's the tool that I have used to form all of these beautiful curved leaves and petals. So let's just go ahead and you just use this tool to mold and form a nice kind of bowl shape with this petal here. And the more wrinkly and distressed looking I found that the better the flower looks in the end. So don't be afraid to get in there and really work with that paper and get it mold it the way you want it. So I've done that with all of the petals that you see here. And then I've kind of pinched the base here in order to help them keep their beautiful shape. And then I can glue them in place. So I put a little glue here, a puddle of glue that I'm using to dab my petals in. And then I put them in place on this base. So that has all of our large petals in place and then I'm going to go back in with these medium sized petals and put those in. And I'm just overlapping those so that they look natural. And if you need to hold them down, you can always use these tools to kind of help you hold as well. Put that out of the way. So. Okay, so now that we have those petals all in place, we are ready to start the smaller petals, which are right here, and there's four of them. So you can just kind of put them in across from each other is usually the best way to start. We'll need a little more glue in a minute. I always just kind of put the two across from each other and then the next two across from each other. It's a little bit tedious work in here. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. These flowers are perfect for um, home decor projects, cards, embellishing things. Okay. or even scrapbook layouts that you're not planning to put in a sheet protector. Okay, and for the center, I wish I hadn't put this together yet, but it was three petals that are connected. They're all together. And I just used my smaller ball tip right here and really worked those until they made a nice bowl. And then I overlapped them and glued them and let that dry really good. And that makes a beautiful center for us to put in the middle of our flower. I'm going to go ahead and put a little glue on that. I had to be a little bit forceful with that center and make sure it just really balled up the way I wanted it to. So there you have it. That makes the middle of our flower. And then the last is to add our leaves. And to form these leaves, I actually formed them by running the ball tip on the back side. And then I flipped them over and used the smaller ball tip to kind of create the veins in them. 
and just by all you need to do to create the veins is just push down and draw the veins and push a little bit harder so that they form in there. So I kind of wanted the leaves to, I wasn't sure if I wanted them to curl up or back, but um, you can play with those and create them however you would like for your project. So I'm just going to put those underneath there, let them dry. So there you have it. You're done with your beautiful peony flower and it's ready to embellish a project or use wherever you would like. I hope you enjoy making this, pro this flower and if you have any questions please feel free to leave me a message here and I will try and check those. Have a great day and bye bye.